G'day guys, how are you going? Uh, today I'm installing a Truma Vario heat on uh, one of these caravans here. Um, it's a Crusader caravan and it's a Musketeer Arminus, I think it's pronounced. Arminus, maybe, something like that. Uh, it's a beautiful van, uh, very modern interior. Um, looks great on the outside, you know, the black checker plate and stuff like that, very good. Only thing I am disappointed with is the, um, the vent. He got a white one. Um, he asked for a black one, but they sent him a white one. So uh, he knew that already, but it just would look better if it was a white uh, event. But anyway, I'll give you the rundown. Just, it's pretty easy on this one. So I'll give you the rundown on how it all uh, worked and the setup under the bed. So if you're thinking of doing one, you can uh, yeah, give you some idea. Okay, see you on the other side of the logo. Okay, so when the guy originally uh, rocked up, he, um, he had a plan of attack and uh, it was gonna go through the floor and out. And I was like, shut that idea down because you can't bring these under the floor. It, the vent can't go through a horizontal surface. It just says it in the book. It would be a lot easier, but it's probably because when you're underneath the, you know, underneath the floor, you got chassis rails, and if that hot air's there, it could suck in, you know, suck in um, the, you know, the air to, to make the combustion, and it might, you know, stuff that up a bit. So, anyway, it's got to come out through the side wall, not into your annex or anything. But here's the. I'll just show you the side. Here's the uh, the vent on the on the side here. So, you know, it's it's a bit disappointing that it is white. You could probably swap it over now, which is, you know, it's only the two screws and, and there's a little ring inside that you have to take out, but I don't know. Um, stuff like that bugs me, <laughs> you know, sort of thing. But he was he was stuck. He, he had to, he's got to, got to head, head away. Um, he's going down south and stuff, so it's going to be cold. He just needs to get it sorted. But I mean, he can change it over later on. But yeah, that's, that's where it's come up and the cupboards are inside and everything. So I'll show you that inside now. Now, for the life of me, I could not find the light switch in this Crusader van. So if you've got one of these Crusader caravans and you know where the light switches are, can you let me know? Because I couldn't find them. There's, there's a little remote thing, but um, anyway, I'll just turn my light on on my, uh, on my the camera so you can see what I'm talking about. All right, so uh, video's going, light's on, so let's go and have a look. Yeah, I couldn't for the life of me. So if you are in Crusader, you can let me know where these light switches are. I found this thing, but I don't know how that works, but I've pressed some buttons and... I mean, nothing seems to be working, but anyway, look, I mean, it's a beautiful van. I love the colours and everything. It's really cool. Anyway, here's the Truma Vario heat that we've uh, that we've installed there. So we've got the vent coming out the front. Obviously, that's all adjustable, so you can switch it wherever, wherever way you want, you know. So if your dog's lying over there, you can put it that way or whatever. I don't even have a dog in this one. I've um, got the gas valve there, gas regulator, and now the vent um, had to go out here. There's no cupboard or anything, but that's the only place we could put it. So he's going to put like a little step or something over this um, to, to protect it in the future. And this is the uh, like the, the air intake. So if, when, it, when it comes off the floor, it will suck. Yeah, you know, it's always good because the coldest air sits on the floor, right? So I'll suck it through there. And yeah, so that's the out, out to the vent. Sticks it all there. Um, Glenn, my mate next door, he's done all the um, all the 12 volt hooking up thing whatever that is, a little fuse box or something. And he's got this special wrapping machine. See that? Just amazing. You know, so it looks like an absolute, now this machine's worth thousands of dollars, but he, even on this stuff, he, he wraps it, makes all these wiring looms up, you know? So it's all, looks like a, you know, like one of those Porsches or something. So you see that in Toyotas. Anyway, so that's that's the setup. It just comes through there and I was thinking, the reason I put it on a bit of an angle here is then he can just put a put something like he said, he had some aluminium, um, security door stuff to go over this so they can put stuff on it, you know, to, to keep it off this a bit. And yeah, so that's how it's all set up. All right, so, you know, very easy to turn off to um, if you're traveling. And then this is where Glenn stuck the, uh, stuck the Vario heat um, controller up here. Okay, so you just run it down inside the cupboard there and comes up. So when you're in bed and you're feeling a bit cold, turn it on and it's all, and it's all good. All right, so that's the Vario heat installed in the Crusader Caravans, the Musketeer, Armas, Armas, somewhere. So if you want one of these done and you live in Perth, call your local gas fitter, he should be able to sort it out. But if you want me to do it, then give us a call. If you're over east and you feel like coming over to Perth, then yeah, come over and visit, look at our beautiful beaches and uh, go to Rottenness Island and stuff. It's good to stay a couple of nights. It's always better when you stay there. Um, that's, yeah, best place, I reckon, for kids' holidays, especially if you've got kids. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you later.